So, we've got 10 minutes to fill and 25 names. Let's give a big shout out over to Elite Prospects because what they did was they posted their EP Ringside Top 100 NHL Prospects list. They have the graphics also available on the internet. So we're going to go out there and take a look at their list from the top 25 onwards. Of course, Elite Prospects published a list of 100, so you could go out there and find the rest of this yourself via EP Ringside and Elite Prospects. But if you all get pissed off at this list, hey, blame the folks over at EP. I'm just the messenger here. Without further ado, let's go over to the top 25 NHL affiliated skaters as ranked by Elite Prospects. Only prospects still eligible for the 2025 Calder Trophy were ranked on this list. Starting out with number 25, you have yourselves the big defenseman out of the New Jersey Devils system recently drafted in the 2024 draft, Anton Selayev. Big dude, fluid skating dude, is he the next Chara? Who really knows? He's ranked at number 25. In the number 24 overall spot, you have another defense prospect. He's one of the best defenders in Russia, Alexander Nikishin, an offensive dynamo for SKA St. Petersburg. He's an all-situations, all-minutes kind of guy. And while, honestly, I feel like this ranking is a little bit low, he still is considered on the top 25 list of NHL prospects. Following up is number 23, Consta Hellenius, the two-way defensive forward that was drafted by Buffalo in the recent 2024 NHL draft. Consta Hellenius made headlines a few days ago when announcing his 2024-2025 hockey playing destination, and him and his two-way profile are listed as number 23. Going over to number 22, it is yet another defensively-minded forward in Dalibor Dvorsky, a guy whose projection kind of saw him as, like, maybe the next Bo Horvat or something. He had a pretty alright season, all things considered. St. Louis Blues guy, he should get a lot of opportunities over the next few years. Following up, Dvorsky is number 21 on the list. Sam Dickinson out of the San Jose Sharks system. Honestly, a steal of a draft pick where he was taken in the 2024 NHL draft. Just a versatile two-way defenseman. He's a strong player, and if everything pans out, he could be the next Alex Petrangelo. Who really knows? Moving over to number 20 on the list, you have Callum Ritchie. Colorado Avalanche prospect taken at the end of the 2023 draft's first round, who exploded in the OHL this previous season, racking up a whole bunch of points and boosting his draft stock. Now on to number 19, you have yourselves the workhorse from the NTTP and NCAA, Oliver Moore. Last year he was ranked as a 17th best prospect, now he's dropped a little bit, but it's okay for Chicago because some of the prospects that did overtake him were Chicago guys. So for Oliver Moore, him and his profile, he could be seen as a really nice buzzsaw all situations offensive forward in the years to come. Beckett Seneca, the recent third overall pick, is ranked as the number 18th overall prospect here, which is kind of, uh, hmm... I don't know, man. That's kind of tough to see a guy drafted third overall slip all the way to this position in the top 25 prospects list. It's because Beckett Seneca was not really projected to going as high as he did in the draft up until the day of the draft. People were saying this guy could have been taken in the middle to late one, so maybe like five, six, seven range, and then there were reports about him being projected to going earlier, and the Anaheim Ducks decided to make a splash by taking him at number three, and uh, yeah, it was really, really big. Even the guy himself was surprised. Anyways, let's move over to the next prospect, number 17, Berkeley Catton, a guy who was also a 2024 draftee, but was nowhere near third overall. Debatedly a steal by the Seattle Kraken because of his offensive production in the WHL, Berkeley Catton is an offensive dynamo. He is so creative, so skilled, and there are going to be so many qualities of his that will pair well alongside of guys like Shane Wright and Matty Beneers long term. In the 16th overall spot of top NHL prospects, you have yourselves Frank Nazer from the Chicago Blackhawks, a guy that I think many people expected to be... Maybe not as good as he really is. There was always that reputation, oh, it's the guys that he's playing with. Oh, in the NTTP, he's just riding off the coattails. But nah, Frank Nazer is a buzzsaw offensive beast in his own right. Nazer and Oliver Moore playing on the same line in the future seems like a match in hell for any of the opposition. And Nazer is ranked 16th on the list for prospects because of it. 
Now we're going over onto some big risers here because the 15th ranked prospect is the San Jose Sharks' Quinton Musty, who last year was 28th overall. Musty had a really great season in the OHL this previous year. He was almost at double points per game. He was a triple-digit guy. Huge improvements from last season up until now. He's providing the Sharks with even more offensive value on their forward core long term. And then you have yourselves Logan Stankovan at number 14. Of course, we had seen what he's capable of doing in the Stanley Cup playoffs. He was ranked 30th overall on last year's top prospects list. So to see the jump from 30 to 14, whilst having that crazy stint in the Stanley Cup playoffs, I mean, Logan Stankovan's got a lot going for him. I don't think anybody's too surprised about that. Now we're rounding out into the end of the tens here. The 13th overall prospect is Montreal Canadiens guy, David Reinbacher, baby, yeah. Of course, we gotta get Reinbacher in there. He was 13th this year, 18th last year, and I think a lot of people were expecting bigger things out of Reinbacher. Honestly, the fact that he went up in the rankings is a good thing when you consider how bad his 2023-2024 was with EHC Kloten. Not a fault of his own, it's mostly because the team he played for was terrible, but Towards the end, there was a lot more optimism for David Reinbacher because of his limited stint in the AHL. He's a big guy, shutdown guy. If he ends up panning out to a more insider-like profile long-term, I think Canadians fans are going to be very happy. 12th overall, you have yourselves out of the Utah Hockey Club, Dmitry Simashev, a big mobile shutdown defenseman out of the KHL. He's a player that has a very unique set of skills to shut down opposition, and he's one of the best in his draft class and maybe even the NHL's prospect body as a whole in doing so. The Utah Hockey Club former Arizona Coyotes had themselves a few picks like this in the recent drafts, just some big Russian guys that were taking risks on. There's a lot of opportunity here in Utah, and Dmitry Simichev has a chance to utilize that. And 11th overall, you have yourselves another defenseman. It is Zeev Buyam out of the Minnesota Wild, a guy who was debatably a draft steal where he was taken to. He could have been gone a lot higher in the draft, but he slipped down to many. And with the Wild taking Buyam, he has a very rounded, offensively capable, mobile profile. And I think with the point production and the expectations for guys like Brock Faber, Zeev Buyam is going to be a very good complement to that decor. Next up, we're moving into the top 10. Starting out with number 10, it is Will Smith. Keep my wife's name out your gosh darn mouth because Will Smith had himself a really great season in the NCAA playing for the Boston College Eagles. You can't go out there and deny a guy who had scored 70 points in his freshman year. And for Will Smith to be going on the San Jose, he's on a squad with a lot of opportunity. There's going to be a boatload of scoring potential for him as he continues his NHL career. Now, moving into number nine, it is another Utah player. It's TJ Ginla, recently drafted as well. Jerome Ginla's son and a guy whose name you've heard of a ton over the past few months here. Ginla's like a buzzsaw who can score a lot of points. He drives it in that hard. He's a very good player. Moving on to the eighth overall prospect, it is defenseman Zane Parekh for the Calgary Flames. Arguably the best offensive defenseman of the 2024 NHL draft. He's a guy who, if he pans out to the best of his ability, could be seen as a 60-70 point guy in that Quinn Hughes, Kale McCarr-like role. Who knows if he's got the defensive capability to win a Norris one day, but the offense certainly is going to be there. Moving into the top seven here, you got Cutter Gauthier, who is an Anaheim Ducks guy right now, former Philadelphia Flyers guy. We all know the story here. He's ranked pretty highly. Number sixth overall, you've got Artyom Levshunov, the recent second overall pick by Chicago. Not ranked last year because he wasn't eligible, but this year, I mean, if he becomes the next Dion Phaneuf, I think that's kind of the expectation there. And Prime Phaneuf, not like the captain of the Leafs Phaneuf that was losing all the time. Fifth overall, let's move into the top five. We've got a minute left of footage here. Ryan Leonard out of the Washington Capital System. Absolutely game-changing forward. If he becomes the next power forward to dominate Washington like Tom Wilson, maybe without the illegal headshots, I think that's a pretty good projection here. Leonard is so skilled, so offensively talented. Moving over onto the top four guys, though, you could say the same thing about all these. Number four, we've got Caden Lindstrom out of the Columbus Blue Jackets. Recently drafted big guy coming off of injuries. We'll see what he does in the future, but man, is this a talented player. Third overall, you got Ivan Demidov out of the Montreal Canadiens. Nothing more to say about him. We've been talking about him all summer. Same can be said about number two, Matvey Mishkov. Last year, he was ranked fourth overall. This year, he's ranked second. And number 
one, you have the San Jose Sharks, Macklin Sella Brady. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the top 25 NHL affiliated prospects as ranked by Elite Prospects. I hope you enjoyed this video. Shout out to 99. And bye.